I have a feeling that 90% of you will think I am going insane when I say this, but when I was in primary school, I was taken into a dark fan to receive life lessons from a giraffe puppet. I am not making this up. So you may notice from my library of videos that I am pretty passionate about the Irish education system, and I tend to rant about how badly it is executed, but there is one element of primary school education which sounds ludicrous on paper, but it is what I would consider education done right. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Harold the Giraffe. When I mention this inanimate giraffe, there are exactly two possible ways you may react. Either you are overwhelmed with nostalgic memories right now, or you are currently calling emergency services to have me evaluated. But do not worry, because this was actually part of my education as a child. Let's start off with some context, in case you're confused about what I'm talking about. And if you are, then I don't blame you. Healthy Harold, who I simply prefer to call Harold the Giraffe, was originally an initiative to teach life lessons to primary school students in Australia and New Zealand, which was introduced in 1979, and has somehow made his way to Ireland too. The entire program was almost shut down in May 2017 due to funding issues, but it was kept alive due to public outcry from people who loved Healthy Harold visits as a kid. Apparently, he would teach the dangers of alcohol and drugs and other mature topics in Australia, but I remember his lessons quite differently. Of course, I was a young child at the time, and it has probably been about 10 years since my last encounter with Healthy Harold, so my recollection of these visits is pretty limited, but I vaguely remember lessons about friendship, bullying and healthy eating, and of course, this. I find it pretty difficult to explain the whole concept without sounding like I'm losing my mind, but here is the basic gist of what would happen. My entire class in primary school would be led into a dark van, we would have to sit on the floor like this, we would receive life lessons from a random man and a giraffe puppet, we would learn about the human body with this frightening sculpture, and we would take turns touching individual organs to make it light up. Now that I say all that out loud, I understand why it raises a few eyebrows when I ask my friends if they experienced this in primary school. A visit from this dark fan was always exciting, because when you're a kid, you don't learn things by having your head stuck in a book all day. You are eager to learn, but you don't want to listen to some boring teacher in a classroom talking about algebra for 6 hours. But you will listen to every single word from a giraffe in a van. It may sound ludicrous, but it is honestly a really clever teaching method, and as an educational enthusiast, I decided to try out the whole bring primary school students into a van method myself, but it didn't go as well as I'd hoped, and I am not allowed to be within two miles of a primary school anymore. However, Harold's lessons were always well executed. We would start off with some basic activities to get our adrenaline going, like folding your arms this way and then the other way. I did not know how to do it. The ceiling would light up with a bunch of stars, which we all thought was the coolest thing ever. And then we would move on to this thing, which I mentioned earlier. It always made me nervous when I watched as my classmates would make the organs light up on their first try, so I feared that I would require several attempts, and like a little 9 year old dope, I was right. I remember having to touch this thing a couple of times to make it light up, which was pretty embarrassing, and I still attribute this experience to my inability to please the girl. All of these activities were fun and interactive and memorable. But we entered that van for the giraffe. Harold was the main event of these visits. We would watch these educational videos on a big screen all about Harold's life, and then the hype would truly begin. The educator would ask us if we wanted to see Harold, we would scream relentlessly, the lights would turn off for a few seconds, and when they came back on, BAM! There he was, in all his long neck glory. If I recall correctly, Harold would just stick his head out of a little compartment, and even though he was all talk in those little videos, he wouldn't say a word to us when he showed up in the van, probably because the educators weren't exactly trained ventriloquists. Harold would whisper in their ear like this, and the educator would simply recite what Harold apparently said. The appearance of Harold was a bit of a sham in retrospect, but I was able to suspend my disbelief, and we all loved seeing him nonetheless. When Harold's visit came to an end, we were all encouraged to give him a hug before we left, but I'm pretty sure somebody in my group hit him on the way out. Of course, he was punished, and he was fired from his job as a teacher. Back when I was a primary school student, these visits from Harold in the life bus were always a treat, because they were a fun little distraction from regular classes. But now that I look back on it around 10 years later with an education obsessed brain, I am intrigued by the Healthy Harold program. Everything that the Leaving Cert failed to teach me, most of the things that I proposed as mandatory subjects in my SEC video essay, were taught to me by a giraffe puppet when I was a child. I just think that primary schools need more creative educational ideas like this, because kids learn through fun activities, which is why I was shocked when my 11 year old sister told me that she's never had this in school. I grew up in the Harold and the Live O generation, but it seems like times are changing and both of them are starting to phase out. But a Live O is a story for another day. I understand that it's difficult for schools to be innovative with how they teach kids because of government funding for pricey initiatives like Healthy Harold and all that jazz, but I just wish that primary school education was more like this. 
It's not in a child's nature to be hunched over a book for hours on end, and they learn a lot more when lessons are interactive and enjoyable, even if they are a bit farcical. Children have to learn about the dangers of harmful substances, how to stay safe, and general life education. These may be very difficult topics to explain to a kid, but a child's mind will process this information a lot easier when it's coming from a tight giraffe. I'm not sure if Healthy Harold is speaking from experience when he talks about the dangers of drugs and alcohol, but his lessons were always fun, and I can honestly say that they're one of the highlights of my time in a primary school. I hope I've done a good job at explaining the Healthy Harold program, because it's not the easiest thing to describe to somebody who doesn't know what it is. I asked a bunch of my friends if they remember Harold, but it seems like almost nobody else experienced it in school, so I usually receive weird looks and answers like this. So Keelan, in primary school, were you led into a dark band? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, was there a giraffe involved? No. Do I need to call somebody? What? But you know what? I don't care what anybody else thinks about Harold the Giraffe, and I am fed up with schools getting rid of everything that makes education fun. So I am going to march down to the local St. Ben Shapiro Primary School myself, and I will demand that they reintroduce the Healthy Harold program. Yeah, my restraining order just completely slipped my mind. And uh, was there a giraffe involved? <laughs> <laughs>